Once again, it's Monday at just past lunch, which means it's time for the IUPUI Coaches Show here on the ISC Sports Network. We are live at Back 9 Golf Entertainment. And once again, the weather is absolutely spectacular. Now, last week we were here on a holiday. You could stop by and be with us immediately. Today, you got to wait until 4 o'clock. We'll tell you about some of the great food offerings they have here at Back 9 coming up a little bit later on the program. But this week, our focus on the show is the IUPUI softball team. And, uh, well, they are world travelers, literally, this time of the year. That will continue for about a couple of more weeks until Horizon League play kicks in in the middle of March. Joining us now is the seventh-year head coach of the IUPUI softball program in Liz Byrne. Coach, it is good to see you, and let's uh, clue the, the audience in. You played in Murray, Kentucky, five games over the last three days. What time did you and your team roll back into Indianapolis last night? Actually, last night was a, a better travel day. We got home at 6 p.m. So anytime While the sun was still <laughs> yeah. out. That's impressive. Yeah, anytime the sun's still out, we call that a win. So we had an early game at 10, so it was actually a pretty good day. Being a quote-unquote northern softball coach, you mm-hmm. know what you sign up for, which is usually the first four or five weeks uh, of the season. You're going to be on the road. How do you, how do the team handle something like that every February and March? Yeah, like you said, we're kind of used to it. You kind of know going in. Um, it definitely has a couple of challenges. You know, we were just talking before the show how you have all weekend where you're outside playing on the diamond and then come practice Tuesday, we're back inside at Sports Zone. <laughs> um, so sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenge, but at the same time, we it's kind of like we don't know any different, so we are prepared for and used to it. All right, so let's talk about that. Sports Zone's up in Pike Township by Pike High School, 71st mm-hmm. Street-ish. So again, I'm sure there's some things you do from a uh, physical training standpoint that are on campus, but it's, again, just to get that indoor experience, it's, it's part of what you get used to. I guess just your thoughts about doing that and, and, and knowing there's a little driving around town for practice at times for you. Yeah, um, it you know, definitely takes some toll a little bit driving but it's not terrible you know the thing that we're blessed with is that it's a great space so we have six cages we can do a full field so um in in that sense we're very blessed that we can scrimmage in there you know you do have the ceiling that's not that high so the biggest challenge is probably for the outfielders they don't get to see a ton of fly balls in preseason and it's turf opposed to dirt um but for, as far as the space goes, we're really blessed to have that type of space. All right. Well, you have a win to talk about. So let's talk about <laughs> that, shall we? Eight nothing yesterday mm-hmm. in the series finale against Toledo. What clicked for your team yesterday afternoon? Um, I think for the first time we showed up in all aspects of the game, you know, offensively, defensively, our pitcher showed up, you know, we played, we were talking previously about playing a hard 21 going out there and, and the games before that, we would just have a lapse, um, in one of the innings or on offense, we weren't getting that hit with runners in scoring position. So it was kind of the first game we've had this season where everything clicked for us. A hard 21, meaning a hard 21 outs, correct? Correct. And you only played five innings. You're only you're a hard 15. You were <laughs> yes. even better. With, with, with that uh, eight-run rule Correct. victory. Uh, I'm sure most coaches will talk about something like this, especially when you are on the road so much to begin a season. It sounds like the injury bug's kind of taken a toll on you so far this year, too. Yes, we've had some injuries this year. And, I, you know, we kind of knew that going in to January. We already had had a few. So we were, just our mindset's kind of been let's find the solution. If, you know, if we dwell on that part of it, it's always sad. You know, those players are doing a great job supporting our team in the dugout, helping out, you know, in other ways, which is phenomenal. And, of course, we miss them on the field, and we want everyone on our roster playing. But we're just trying to look at it as from a solution mindset. All right. Tell, tell us about your pitching staff. And, again, you know, in, in high school, you can maybe ride one hot arm. You can do that a little bit in college softball. But you have to have more of the staff for the wear and tear. So how many players do you want to see kind of go through the circle for your team this year? Yeah, we would love um, going into conference to have, you know, three starters set. That would be ideal. That's always ideal since we play a three-game series. Um, You know, that makes it really tough for the competition to prepare for us if we have a game one, two, and three starter. So that's the most ideal. Um, You know, some of our pitchers are a little young, and we're working towards that right now. Uh, they got to have some innings in. But at the very least, we want definitely two starters, two solid starters, um, and then some relievers as well. All right. So, again, the Horizon League, like it is in most sports, is going to be a one-bid league in terms of the postseason. 
that does kind of free you up a little bit to take all of these non-conference games as, all right, this is the lab. You, you want to win as many as you can, but you know your record kind of resets, you know, when you get to mm -hmm. March 15th. Is that kind of the mindset you have going in? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we definitely want to compete in preseason. That's a message to our team. I, I think winning, it can be a learned. Sure. Uh, you know, and so I think that's an important lesson that we're trying to teach them to go out there, compete, learn how to win. But 100%, we understand that conference is where it's at. That's where, you know, we want to take the wins. We want to kind of be at our peak going into conference and then going towards the conference tournament. You and I were having this conversation off the air, and I'm lucky enough I get to do the Horizon League softball championships on ESPN Plus on a semi-regular basis. So who who is, you know, the, the, the teams you're kind of gunning for in the league when, when conference play rolls around? Yeah, um, you know, the top teams are probably going to be Northern Kentucky and Oakland. At the same time with the three-game series, every series can be a fight, you know. Yeah. Every year we've been here, there's, you know, surprises as far as a team will show up or a team won't show up. So every single one's important. I would definitely say the top ones are probably Northern Kentucky, Youngstown. Even RMU is usually up there, and they should be good again this year. Um, but I would say almost every series, especially in softball. I mean, last year we finished within a game of each other, I think, or <laughs> one game separated six and five and four. So um, we're always very tight, and um, it always comes down to the last weekend. And again, it's six that make the conference tournament, correct? Is that the line of demarcation? Correct. Got to yep. get to that top, top six. six. All right, when it comes to recruiting kids to your program, what is it about the university? What is it about the downtown location, the fact that from the batter's box you can see the skyline of Indianapolis? What, yeah. What's the sales point to bring them here to IUPUI? Um, I think there's a few things. You know, obviously the university can speak for itself. You know, we have um, a ton of majors that they can choose from. Getting that, you know, IU degree is a huge selling point as far as academics. Um, our team is a big academic team, so that's definitely a selling point, I think, you know, Coming down to Indianapolis, it's a cool city, and I think it's just getting better where more sports are coming in. You've got concerts. You've kind of, you know, great food, great entertainment. So, you know, I think that's a definite selling point for kids. And you've been here for seven years. What has kept you here <laughs> for seven <laughs> seasons? Uh, the school, <laughs> the job. <laughs> True. Yeah, I, I also, I enjoy Indy a lot. I think, you know, every, I've been here for seven years, but there's still so much I always say that I don't know or am still discovering um and i i do like you know like the entertainment part of it i like you know the food part of it i love the school i like that atmosphere that i think it is a place that we can grow i think this year is really exciting with the addition of luke that um we're pushing athletics to get better and it's just exciting time to be a part of it kelly reardon and kennedy cowan are going to be our two player guests tell us about those two uh, they're both phenomenal kids. Um, so Kelly is a transfer from Rock Valley. She's a senior this year, works so incredibly hard. You know, she had a tough year last year just with injury. She was out for, uh, I might have been about two months of the mm -hmm. season. So it's great to have her back. She's a quiet kid, but just leads by example. Um, always someone who's going to be very positive for our program, positive with every player in there. So they kind of look at it for that. And Kennedy, um, she's a sophomore, so still a young one, but again, an incredible athlete and an incredible kid, you know, has a lot of fire, a lot of passion, I think for the game, you know, for her teammates. Um, she's opened up a little bit more this year. Last year, I would say she was a little bit more quiet, but now we're, we're getting to see her personality, which is a real treat. All right. So uh, finally, before we let you go, what are some of the goals you have set for your team now for the rest of the season? Um, you know, I think going into next weekend, it's kind of continuing to play that hard 21 and to compete every game. And then obviously as we go into conference, our goal is to win every series, you know, get into that tournament. Um, you know, you like to be one of the top two teams because they get a bye that first round. But, you know, we want to get in the tournament and then we want to be hot for those, you know, four or five games and go to the NCAA. Jaguars are heading to a somewhat similar place as they did this past week. It was Murray, Kentucky last week. It is the Austin P. Invitational, so Clarksville, Tennessee this time around. It opens up with Indiana State on Friday morning. Ohio, Austin P. and St. Louis, other teams that are playing in the event. Obviously, you can follow along at IUPUIJags.com. Coach, thanks for the time. Thank Enjoy you. a couple of days in Indianapolis where you get right back on the road. <laughs> Best of luck the rest of the right. season. Thank you so much. Again, Liz Byrne, the head softball coach at IUPUI. Let's thank our friends at Katz, Sapper, and Miller. They're a CPA and advisory firm based here in Indianapolis. KSM believes we all have a role to play in supporting communities where we work and live, and the firm is committed to playing their part. KSM is proud to support many 
primarily mission-driven organizations such as Jaguar Athletics, dedicated to providing enhancing life-changing opportunities for IUPUI student-athletes. Let's go Jags. Let's go to break. And one of those aforementioned student-athletes will join us next. You're watching the IUPUI Coaches Show right here on the ISC Sports Network. Private course for yourself or your company? Problem solved. Indy's Eastside Hidden Gym and Pete Dye's first 18-hole design is Maple Creek Golf and Country Club. Visit maplecreekgc.com today. At Indiana University, we're undaunted by challenge. We take the lead. We don't follow the crowd. Embracing the future with boldness and bravery. Unapologetically optimistic. Equipped with the knowledge and intention to change the world. Nine campuses, one purpose. Creating tomorrow, today. Indiana University, bring on tomorrow. Going the extra mile happens every day here at Perf Jones. College is one of the biggest milestones you will undergo in your lifetime. It's the excitement, I think, of knowing what you're producing is going to be on someone's wall with their diplomas. It's pride, it's loyalty, it's passion. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. At Indiana Members Credit Union, we're invested in more than just your finances. We're invested in your future, the future of your family, the well-being of the community you live in, and in those who dream big. Until those dreams become a reality, any bank can give you a loan or open an account. At IMCU, we care about more than just dollars and cents. We care about doing things that make sense. And investing in you makes good sense to us. This is the place that's skill-built. Here, highly skilled physicians never rest in their pursuit to heal, to comfort, to cure. With these hands, you'll receive nationally recognized heart care and Indiana's most leading-edge cancer care. With these hearts, with these guts, with these brains, you'll find the highest level of care in the state. This is the hope that's skill-built, and it's around every corner of Indiana University Health. We continue on on the IUPUI Coaches Show. We are live from Back 9 Golf Entertainment downtown, not far from the IUPUI campus. Of course, you can see it from the downtown. And just look for those big golfing nets on the southwest side. Come down here and find us. They're open seven days a week. They open Monday and Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Kelly Reardon is our guest for the next segment of the show. But first things first, let's thank our friends at Taylor's Bakery. Again, Taylor's Bakery, a great supporter of IUPUI Athletics. Taylor's is Indy's. Oldest full-line bakery whose mission is to bake happiness into every bite. Taylor's is a six-time WeddingWire.com award winner. Recently crowned the best bakery in Indy uh, in 2024 by Nextdoor. Custom cakes, irresistible donuts, Danish's other treats. Taylor is rooted in a relentless commitment to quality, reliability, and community. Find them at 6216 Allisonville Road or 116th Street, East 116th Street in Fishers. Taylor's Bakery, Taylor made for you since 1913. A person who is normally more concerned with a Taylor made double play is joining us now that would be again kelly reardon senior infielder from the south suburbs of chicago in her second year here at iupui kelly thank you so much for the time how you doing i'm good how are you i'm good congratulations on yesterday's win i know you've been guys been looking for one for for a little bit oh yeah what changed in yesterday's game for you um i think yesterday was the first time this whole season besides our very first game yep we had a little bit of it but i think we all played as one single unit and we all came together and we just gave it our all and I think we bonded over all the the past games and we finally figured out that you know it's bigger than softball and that we should all just play together. 281 so far in the season three home runs and 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 nine base hits how you feeling about how you're how you're, how you're swinging the stick up there at the plate so far? Uh, pretty good. Um, it's a good feeling knowing that the people behind you in the lineup, no matter what, 
will be there for you. So it's like if you say pop up or something, the next person behind you will uh, carry it on and pick up the stick and be productive. All right, you heard us talking in the opening segment of the show, and obviously you have lived it. It is a lot of travel first four or five weeks of the season. As a player, how do you handle that? How do you deal with that? Um, honestly, I think just um, just being together with your team also yep. helps. Uh, getting a lot of – you get somewhat rest, but um, you kind of just go through with it. You're kind of used to it. Like Coach Byrne was saying, you just know that, you know, it's a grind right now, but it's only preparing you for the rest of the season. And on our off days, I like to um, bake too to ease the – the mental health. Do you, now, do, now, do you then bring this like on the road trip for the team? Are you bringing supplies for everybody else? Um, I did for one of my friends, but maybe I think I'm going to make cookies for this uh, upcoming trip. Okay, now, now the, the, you'll see where this where this interview path is going here in a matter of moments. <laughs> I know you're a senior here. Are you planning on coming back for one more year, or is this going to be it for you at IUPUI? Uh, this will be it. Okay. This will be my last. I uh, was going to say, if you wanted to come back, and if we have you on the show next year, you can bring baked goods in for the entire crew <laughs> if you'd like to. We'll see if we can invite you on the show next week <laughs> if, if that is the case. Uh, in talking with Coach, she said injuries were a bit of an issue for you last year. What were you dealing with? Uh, concussion. That's serious. Yeah, it was um, my actually my second concussion in okay. like a span of like a year maybe. Right. So it lasted a lot longer than I'm I expected. Does that change how you play, or, or can you really do that at this point in time of your career? Um, I think it had a big impact last year. I think now I'm finally starting to um, become more comfortable out there. Um, it's taken a long time, but I think it's finally like getting back to like normal well coach mentioned this you played a couple of years of, of junior college softball before you came here so again second and final year in the program what was it about IUPUI and in Indianapolis that was appealing to you I think it was the campus and then obviously the coaching staff too I think it's a um, very good environment and the campus is very cool I like the um the setup of the campus it's not uh, too big or too small, you get that feel of like a like a big school, but also like that's still small. Get to know your professor feel. And what's the major for you at IUPUI? I'm a general studies major with um, public health administration minor. Okay, very cool. What are you hoping to do with that? Um, next year, I plan on doing um, nursing, actually. I'm going to do an accelerated nursing program back at home. Very cool. Mm -hmm. That's a particular field of nursing at this point, or you'll figure that out down the road? Um, the end goal is uh, actually labor and delivery. Outstanding. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so now let's talk about the rest of the season. What are some of the goals you've set for whether it's individual or as a team, uh, knowing that conference play is about two or three weeks away? I think, uh, obviously, main goal is to uh, win the conference for sure. I think this year we, um, we're looking really good. And I think if we just keep trusting the process and we'll hopefully win the conference, that's the main goal. And another goal is to also just, I guess as myself and speaking for the seniors too, is to just um, soak up the last moments of being an athlete ever. So it's just kind of scary, but just not you know, going too fast and letting all the moments really soak in. Sounds like a good way to uh, end it and appreciate it right there. Kelly, again, congratulations on your start so Thank far you. this season. Stay healthy. Feel free to stop by next week's show with some baked goods if you'd <laughs> like. Have a great time at Austin P this weekend. Thank you so much. Again, Kelly Reardon, kind enough to join us. You're going to support Kelly, other great student athletes at IUPUI. You can donate to the Jaguars Athletics Fund. Again, there are 250 stories just like Kelly's that she shared with us here. The Jaguars Athletic Fund enhances the overall experience for all Jaguar student athletes, providing the resources necessary for our teams and student athletes to pursue athletic and academic excellence. Again, you can help uh, give improved health and wellness opportunities, scholarship support, facility upgrades, and so much more. Join the Jaguar Athletic Fund today, IUPUIJags.com slash give now slash JAF. Kennedy Cowan will join us as we wrap up this edition of the show. You're watching the IUPUI Coaches Show live from Back Nine Golf, downtown Indy here on the ISC Sports Network.
Listen up, all you golf lovers. Looking for a private course for yourself or your company? Problem solved. Indy's Eastside Hidden Gym and Pete Dye's first 18-hole design is Maple Creek Golf and Country Club. Visit maplecreekgc.com today. At Indiana University, we're undaunted by challenge. We take the lead. We don't follow the crowd. Embracing the future with boldness and bravery. Unapologetically optimistic. Equipped with the knowledge and intention to change the world. Nine campuses, one purpose. Creating tomorrow, today. Indiana University, bring on tomorrow. Going the extra mile happens every day here at Perth Jones. College is one of the biggest milestones you will undergo in your lifetime. It's the excitement, I think, of knowing what you're producing is going to be on someone's wall with their diploma. It's pride, it's loyalty, it's passion. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. At Indiana Members Credit Union, we're invested in more than just your finances. We're invested in your future, the future of your family, the well-being of the community you live in, and in those who dream big. Until those dreams become a reality, any bank can give you a loan or open an account. At IMCU, we care about more than just dollars and cents. We care about doing things that make sense. And investing in you makes good sense to us. This is the place that's skill-built. Here, highly skilled physicians never rest in their pursuit to heal, to comfort, to cure. With these hands, you'll receive nationally recognized heart care and Indiana's most leading-edge cancer care. With these hearts, with these guts, with these brains, you'll find the highest level of care in the state. This is the hope that's skill-built, and it's around every corner of Indiana University Health. Welcome back for the final time here on the IUPUI Coaches Show, live from Back Nine Golf Entertainment, downtown Indianapolis. We've got one more show for you next week. That is the end of our six-show run for this season. Hopefully many more of these to come a year from now. Let's thank one more tremendous sponsor, our friends at 92C Partners, proud to support the Jaguars. 92C Partners is a woman-owned, full-service commercial real estate firm serving clients throughout Indiana and beyond. In addition to brokerage services, 92C provides strategic planning, space design, construction management, and project management. Any real estate needs, please visit 92partners.com. Pulled pork sandwiches are off uh, waiting to be torn into here in about five or six minutes. But first, we'll look forward to our conversation with Kennedy Cowan. She is a sophomore at IUPUI, a native of Ohio who batted 341 in her freshman year on campus. Kennedy, thanks for the time. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Let's start with the fact you got a big win yesterday in beating Toledo 8 nothing, snapping a losing streak. That had to feel pretty good a day ago. Yeah, it did. It felt really good for us. What was the difference yesterday compared to some of those struggles before? that um I think yesterday we had a lot of fight in us or yeah yesterday we had a lot of fight in us we had something uh to fight for because one of our earlier players had gotten injured in our first game with Toledo so we really wanted to come back at them um and make sure we avenged her Fair enough. All right. Uh, uh, you guys have got a chance to obviously travel a lot. You're used to that now as a college softball player. You open the season getting to play at an SEC school. What was that experience like at Mississippi State? Mm -hmm. It's always really cool to see other schools. Obviously, the bigger schools have a lot um, have a lot of different things than we do. But like Coach Burns said at one point, they had like meteorologists there that would like <laughs> send us the updates like the morning of, of everything, and they're very accurate. So it's just really, it's really cool to be on a different type of setting and a stage. All right. What was the experience for you like last year as a first-year college student, first chance to play at the college level? Clearly batting 341 is pretty impressive. What worked so well for you last year? Um, I think coming onto this team and just having the support that I had when I first got here and Coach Byrne and Coach G at the time helped me into becoming who I was as a player, making sure that I didn't get too much in my head, especially as a freshman. It's a bit difficult to just jump right into it, but I had a lot of support. All right, so tell us about the role you're playing on this year's team. 
Um, hopefully, I haven't been playing recently because I broke my finger, but hopefully I will just I'll be a utility and I'll help wherever we need help. She's doing a good job of kind of hiding her injury. So <laughs> there we go. And, and she can display that finger on camera and not get anybody in trouble for showing. So what, what's the expected return time for you coming up? Um, I'm getting another x-ray tomorrow. So hopefully I get cleared and then I'll be back by the time we play IU. They want me to want to make sure I can still move my finger well and have strength in it. And by the way, IU is next weekend, by the way. So just one more weekend. So um, I, I rattled off your stats for how good your season was last year. It's got to be driving you nuts that you're not playing so far this year. How are yeah. you handling it? It is. It's hard. But like I said, again, the team gives a lot of support. Everyone's been helping me with that. And I can still run. Yep. So I do pinch run, and I help my team that way. Just doing anything I can to help the team is really what's helping me get through this. No head first slides with that bad finger, right? I did, but we wear an oven mitt. So I wear okay, an oven mitt. Okay, you're covered. Pop-up slides might be the way to go for you. <laughs> Uh, if, if, if that's the case. All right. Why IUPUI? Why was this the right place for you coming from a state away? Yeah. Um, I like, I, I wanted to go out of state, I think, mm -hmm. just because I wanted a new experience. And the IUPUI campus is um, really beautiful. I like it. I love the diversity and inclusion that they preach here as well. And then obviously I liked the coaches. I liked the team. So it was a pretty good fit for me. And what's the major for you? Uh, law and liberal arts. Okay, and so what are you looking to do with that? And just a sophomore, you got a little time. What are you mm -hmm. hoping to do with that a couple of years down the road? Um, I want to be a lawyer, so yeah. after this, hopefully going to law school and doing that. You're going to stay here for law school, or you're going to, you're going to head someplace else? Um, it depends. I haven't decided yeah. that yet, so. All right, so what's going to be the key? Obviously, you guys started the season with a win against UAB down at Mississippi State. Got that win yesterday against Toledo. And as we talked about with Coach, you can kind of reset the record in a couple of weeks when you mm -hmm. get to conference play. What are some of the goals you and your teammates have set for this coming year? I think one of the bigger goals is to just stay as one unit, um, take every like we'll win as a team and keeping the energy that we had at UAB and when we played Toledo, keeping that throughout the um, – Throughout the season, even if we win or lose, is going to be important. You got five games coming up in three days, and that's kind of standard this time of year. It starts to stretch out a little bit. It's not not as much once you get to conference play. As an athlete, how do you handle that grind knowing you've got five games in the span of 48 hours? How do you deal with that? Um, it's important to take care of our bodies. Um, Andrew, our trainer, is really helpful, and we love him so much because he helps <laughs> us all the time. And um, just really taking care of your body, giving this time, giving you this time to rest, and then getting ready for the weekend. All right. So, um, get next weekend correct. Mm -hmm. One more weekend of having just to sit there and, and cheer slash pinch run. But then, so once you get that hand healthy, what do you expect to kind of fit back into the lineup uh, here in ten days or so? Um, I don't really know because we we're moving around a lot right now. Yeah. Um, as I said, one of our players got hurt, so everything's just kind of moving. Yep. So wherever, I mean, just wherever I can get in. All right, keep that thing healthy. We'll see you back on the field real soon. I will. I hope so. Kennedy Cowan again uh, joining a sophomore here at IUPUI, and that'll do it for this edition of the show. Now, as a heads up, you've got one more chance to go see the men's basketball team. They will be in action at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock against Milwaukee. If you cannot make it out, go to ESPN+. Plus. It's our final broadcast. Remember that both the uh, women's basketball and men's basketball will be on the road next Tuesday for the opener of Horizon League Tournament play. But obviously, you can come and join us at the Coliseum for the semifinals and finals on March 11th and March 12th. You won't find a better deal and a better location to watch outstanding college basketball as teams try to punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. And you can see this team in action. They play at Butler next Wednesday. Home opener is the conference opener against the Vikings of Cleveland State on Friday, March 15th. The softball complex located right next to Michael A. Carroll Track and Soccer Stadium on the campus of IUPUI. And always follow IUPUIJags.com for more information. For Coach Byrne, for Kelly Reardon, for Kennedy Cowan, and all the good folks behind the scenes, this is Greg Rakestraw. Thanks for joining us for the IUPUI Coaches Show. Here from Back Nine Golf Entertainment, downtown Indianapolis on the ISC Sports Network. Listen up, all you golf lovers. Looking for a private course for yourself or your company? Problem solved. Indy's Eastside Hidden Gym and Pete Dye's first 18-hole design is Maple Creek Golf and Country Club. Visit maplecreekgc.com today.
At Indiana University, we're undaunted by challenge. We take the lead. We don't follow the crowd. Embracing the future with boldness and bravery. Unapologetically optimistic. Equipped with the knowledge and intention to change the world. Nine campuses, one purpose. Creating tomorrow, today. Indiana University, bring on tomorrow. Going the extra mile happens every day here at Perf Jones. College is one of the biggest milestones you will undergo in your lifetime. It's the excitement, I think, of knowing what you're producing is going to be on someone's wall with their diploma. It's pride, it's loyalty, it's passion. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. At Indiana Members Credit Union, we're invested in more than just your finances. We're invested in your future, the future of your family, the well-being of the community you live in, and in those who dream big. Until those dreams become a reality, any bank can give you a loan or open an account. At IMCU, we care about more than just dollars and cents. We care about doing things that make sense. And investing in you makes good sense to us. This is the place that's skill built. Here, highly skilled physicians never rest in their pursuit to heal, to comfort, to cure. With these hands, you'll receive nationally recognized heart care and Indiana's most leading edge cancer care. With these hearts, with these guts, with these brains, you'll find the highest level of care in the state. This is the hope that's skill built, and it's around every corner of Indiana University Health.